so here's my uh, my next uh, mod uh, or attempting mod that I'm going to try and do. Um, basically, we've got two of uh, Van Gogh camp beds, the XLs. Uh, as you can see, 160 kilos max load. Um, not sure the actual dimensions, but they are quite long and they're sort of a reasonable width as well. And we got we chose these ones because we got the camper wide boy Sims, uh, which sit on the top. The extra inch or two you get with them compared to a normal single makes all the difference if you sort of if you're a bit of a fidgeter and you like a little bit of space rather than falling off. Now currently we have this these going sort of from end to end sort of across the back of our tents in our sleeping thing, which uses up a lot of room and we lose a lot of floor space because of it now and that is because actually the bedrooms aren't actually wide enough sort of so from back to front um only by about an inch or so if that so what i'm looking to do is actually if you have a look on here there's a good couple of inches either end that i'm going to look to cut off and file down and make them a bit shorter now to be honest, when we bought these, we bought these for width. Um, I'm only five foot six, so there's plenty of room for me to go. And the missus is, is only, only a fraction taller, about five, seven-ish. So we've got plenty of length we can actually lose. Um, but I'm hoping that if I come back to just this, this side here, um, it will then fit long ways, like I said, sort of back to front in the tent. And then that will mean that we can have a bit more floor space for kids. Then we can shut off into their own room in their little bunk beds and we can actually put stuff under the beds nice and easily rather than trying to battle through a narrow gap of how it currently works um, yeah so I will show you the end product once I've done so um, I've taken off the ends uh, popped the caps out of uh, of a little bits of metal um, putting them in so um, so yeah it's looking good I will pick it over and then show you the final product so partly way through now, um, so cut off the ends. So as you can see, this Ford's flat. Now I was slightly worried that getting this bit to stay on would mean this would slide up and down the actual cloth on top. Um, so when I came to do the second one down here, um, I still got, sorry, the third one, I've still got the fourth one to do. I've left a little bit of a lip to try and hit that over. But what I've actually found is actually it's quite tight. So it's not, actually moving so um i probably don't want to go to the short bit again um as you can see this bit twists around which uh any shorter than that is a bit pointless so this side it doesn't on this side down here it does so actually it's not much of a difference um so i'll probably come in and i'm gonna do about a finger gap sort of i think now on on all the other on this last one and then all, do that all the same on the other bed but apart from that yeah the extra the extra sort of like i said few inches either end is on make make it fit perfectly in our tent um so then the both beds will go side by side matches across the top so it'd be almost like a double bed the missus got her side to get out of i've got that side the kids are gonna be that way um, so there'll be a bit of debate probably between me and the missus who sleeps closest to the kids and since the missus likes to sleep in and I'm a bit of an early riser I'm probably going to be on this side of the bed but yeah that's that's how it's going at the moment and I'll give an update once I've finished okay so I've done it all now um, reset the bed up this time as I set the bed up I just made sure the ends are over as you can see now all the ends are off um, either side this one's sort of fairly loose down here um, but there's no movement on this I've tried I tried lying on it uh, moving around a bit and the uh, and the cover's not bodging at all so yeah lucky enough it worked out quite well, well really well actually so what I'm gonna do now is like I said we've got two of these I'm gonna crack on with the other one uh, as anyway thank you for watching and happy camping peeps